Oh, good, good. That, that's my talking. That's mine. Oh, damn. Dad. What else I gotta do? I wonder. Oh. I wonder. Oh, stop. <laughs> what do I see? Hold on. Dan. I wonder. It's Dan again. All right, so now you think about the rent turn now, Lord. We will. Is that someone's TV? What is that noise? That's Dan's TV. Dan, turn it down. Say somebody. somebody. Turn it down, John. That's not, that's not my team. It's not mine. It's up to that, that, was, that was his. Thank you, thank you, James. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> what? He said you're welcome? Yeah. The different people got different people every day. Different pe every day, different people. Oh, so it's not Virgil every day? Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, different people every day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can't see long term. All right, well. I got Kool-Aid. Door. Kool-Aid. Let's open up with scripture and prayer. Pray, pray for pray for me. Pray for John. For and me. me. <laughs> and the thunder. And the thunder? Yeah. Yeah. Pray for the It's pray for, on pray news. For, pray for the toenails and the file. And the hurricanes and the earthquakes and all that stuff. And the wars. Yeah. I can't see For last week in Panaluma and two acres in Panaluma. Pray for them in Panaluma. Leah. Pray for the Panaluma file. Pray for the Panaluma file. Get out of the Panaluma file. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't see his face. Uh oh. What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Nothing that can't be dealt with. Oh, okay. All right. So, who's got scripture? Who's got prayer? Let's go ahead and open up. Let's get I've got this. scripture. I'll read Psalm 53. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Mm -hmm. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand and any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as many bread and who do not call on God. There they were, overwhelmed with dread, when there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Blessing be to the hearing and reading of Psalm 53. Amen. Amen. Who's going to open us in prayer? Wait, turn us in. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Um, <laughs> we is in. 
Who's going to open us in prayer? Me. Okay. Everyone, if an earthquake and fire, thunderstorms, amen. Amen. All right. Well, let me share screen here. Can I remember? Hey, is it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey. We're going to be looking at lesson four. The carnal person and a spiritual Christian. Wow. <laughs> um, we did some scripture reading last week. We did our uh, first Corinthians. Memory verses, yeah. Huh? We the main scriptures. Yeah, we did the uh, uh, main scriptures. And then, did we do the memory verses? We did. Okay. So yeah. we're in the introduction. So does anybody want to read the introduction? Me. Okay. As you read. <laughs> Can you see it? Huh? Go ahead. As you read this main text for this lesson, you'll see that the Apostle Paul is writing to the church members at Corinth. There was trouble in this crowd. Their church was filled with envy, strife, and division, yet in 1 Corinthians 3.21, Paul calls the brethren to let us know that that they had been saved. All right, let's stop right there for now. So, um, what was going on in the church at Corinth at that time? Safe. Huh? Safe. Yeah, they were saved. Yeah. It was filled with envy, strife, and division. Yeah, there was trouble in the crowd. What he said. Yeah. It was church was filled with envy, with strife, and division. Mm -hmm. That's not good. No. No. None of those are God. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's look at the second paragraph. Oh, wow. Oh, I just think I can do whatever. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're totally going the wrong way. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my. I'm going to read the second paragraph. I'll read it. Okay. Their problem wasn't that they weren't converted, their problem was one of carnality. They were spiritually immature and had stopped living to please the Lord. Paul said they were babes in Christ, meaning they hadn't grown at all since they'd been saved. This carnal life was marked by things like jealousy, arguments, fighting, and even bragging about who was the most spiritual in the bunch. Wow. Oh, wow. my goodness. <laughs> Had they been saved? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about people who have accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior, right? Yeah. 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 But what happened? With Christ. Right. But they they didn't follow God. They didn't follow God. Paul said they were spiritually immature. 
and stop living to please the Lord. Yeah. What else did he call them? In Christ. Huh? In Christ. Um, he called them. Um, Sandals? No, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's in the reading. George, you had some of it. What's that first word? Hmm. Banners and Christ. Yeah. Babes. Oh. Y'all know what a baby is? Mm-hmm. You know what a baby is? A new human. <laughs> oh. A baby. Oh, baby. Y'all never seen a baby? Yes. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Baby. You were once a baby yourself. <laughs> they might have baby pictures of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't look like you did. <laughs> no, my baby. Yeah. So, I was saying, stop growing. They never grew any further than being babes in Christ, is what Paul called. Them. Oh. They hadn't grown any. So, that lets us know it's important that when you get saved, um, what should you do? Right after you get saved, what are some of the things you should do? Read the Bible. Read the yeah, Bible. Yeah, get in the Bible. Be baptized. Baptized. Oh, okay. baptized. Yeah. Pray. Pray. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And power and prayer. Yeah. So those are things you should start doing. So. You don't have to live that carnal life by jealousy, arguments, fighting, bragging about who's the most spiritual, bragging about who got the best service, bragging about who's the best preacher, bragging about all that stuff. I mean, well, my toilet is the best place, so he's the good. Yes, he is the best. Well, I do my best. Yeah. But, you know, it just, it's a matter of style and who you like and everything else, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I like to listen to other people who are just talking. Sometimes I like to listen to people who are fired up. <laughs> like, like, let me tell you, last Sunday. <laughs> well, see, I used to coach football and uh, basketball. You did? You uh -huh. did? Yeah, years ago. That's all time that you were young. <laughs> I was a baby. <laughs> and, um, oh, when I get fired up, my team would get fired up. That's what it was all about. Firing people up. Getting them ready. Getting them excited. Come on. Score basket. <laughs> basket. What'd you say? Yeah, score basket. basket. And then when they hit it, go, yeah. What I'm talking about. Do it again. Pull, pull a touchdown. Pull a touchdown. <laughs> so it's the, same thing, it's the same thing in Christ, you know? Yeah. You have to encourage people. Get out there. Read that scripture. Pray. Yeah. Pray. 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 Give me a P. P. Give me an R. R. Give me an A. Give me an A. Why? Why? What does that spell? Pray. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Did that? He did that? Yes, yeah. 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 All right. That was that was that, that that's that was same thing on the movie. <laughs> yeah, the movie. What movie? But that's that's the same thing on the movie when Tony movie does that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Jesus. Let's look at the next paragraph. Somebody want to read that one? Where's faith? I don't see her She's right there. Right here. Oh, you want to read? read the next one? Don't make her. Don't make her. It is. 
Possible. Possible. Possible to be a child of God and to come to the point. Point where you stop walking to spirit and start walking in the flesh. 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 When a Christian does this, he will become What's the first three letter spell? Car Carnal. Carnal. A same word. Carnal Christian will always be a miserable miserable Christian there for it important important to learn to guard guard a uh, against against that watch will Gun us to become carnal and lose lose the what's the first word? Blessings. -E uh, huh? Blessing. 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 Yeah. Of God upon our lives. Good, Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. So. And you probably have to fix that. Yeah, in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Sorry about that. I realized that as she was reading it, I'm like, whoops, I missed a, I missed a word. Yeah. So uh -oh. it says it's possible to be a child of God and come to the point where you stop walking in the spirit mm -hmm. and start walking in the flesh. Flesh. Does anybody know where to find the scripture that talks about walking in this flesh and walking in the spirit? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, it's in the book of Galatians. Does anybody know? It has the fruit of the spirit. Oh, the way 522? 522. Uh, the, the Old Testament? The New Testament. Testament. The new one? Oh, the new one. See. Galatia. Uh, I think starting at 20, it talks about walking in the flesh. Mm. Are the things of the flesh?
Somebody have it? Because you're right. It talks about the things. I think mine starts in 19, kind of. Might be 19. Yeah. I have it. What does it say? Now the works of the flesh evidence which are adultery, fornication, or cleansiness, and lawlessness. Keep going. Adultery, sorcery, hatred, contusion, jealousy, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambition, discretions, and courtesy. Keep going. Envy, murder, drunkenness, rivalry, and life. Oh, I tell you before, and just I like called in the past of those whose patience just thing is not here the kingdom of God. Okay. But the next one says what? You got verse 22, Tanaya? Yeah, I only did verse 20. Oh, no, I did not. Oh. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Keep going. Good, greatness, self control. Again, just there's no law. Okay. Huh? okay, that's good. Now, you see the difference between 19 to 21 and 22 and 23? Yes. In verse 19, the first part says the works of the flesh. Oh, wow. In verse 22, it says the fruit of the spirit. Mm-hmm. So, one is a working. The other one is a natural process of the seed of the word being implanted in your life. Because they didn't say this is the works of the spirit. They said this is the what? The fruit of the spirit. The fruit. Now, Tell me what you know about fruit. Oh, a banana. You say banana. Okay, tell me what you know about how does fruit happen? Mm. Usually grows on trees. Trees. Grows on trees. Yeah. How does a tree happen? You plant them. They're planted. Oh yeah. And before they become a tree, you have to water them. Before they become a tree, what are they? Yeah. A seed. A seed. seed. Oh, seed. So that seed, you plant it, like you said, you water it, put it in dirt, you water it. Oh. And after a while, just naturally, it bears fruit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't have to go up and beat the tree and say, hey, go "Give me some fruit, man. You got to work." <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! It 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 naturally water happens. Water. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. It's the seed of the word of God that naturally pr produces the fruit of the spirit in us. Planted in good soil. Um, let me show you one other. Let me see here. I know it's in Matthew. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. It's around that thirteen chapter. Yeah. Um, 
Matthew chapter 13. Oh, okay. Um, beginning at verse 3. Here's what it says. Matthew chapter 13, beginning at verse 3. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Some fell in stony places. In other words, a sower is the one who throws the seed out. That's what it means to sow. He's like a farmer. He, they would throw the seed. They would, they, would, they would get the ground ready, and they would just go and just throw the seed over the ground. Right? Okay. That's, what they, that's what they mean by a sower. That's how they would sow the seed. That's how they would plant the seed in those days in that area. So Jesus is telling this story, and it's a parable. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. So when they were throwing the seed around, some didn't fall on the ground. They fell on the wayside. And the fowls came and devoured them. Birds came and ate them up. Some fell in stony places where they had not much earth, and they forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. So this seed was thrown amongst st uh, stones, and when they were sowing seed, because it, it was a road in between a lot of times, and it was, it was stony places, it was roads, there was things right there, and the, the seed would just go everywhere. And so this one fell in stony places, but because it didn't have a root, when the sun came up, it dried it out. And then this one says, the next one, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. So some fell among the thorns, but the seed wasn't strong enough. The plant wasn't strong enough. So the, the thorns grew, raised up and it choked them out. Now, but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. In other words, percent. And he says, he who hath ears, let him hear. Okay. Now, that was Jesus telling a story about seeds and sowing. Now, when we talk about the spiritual, the word of God, the word of God is like the seed planted in our hearts, planted in our minds. And so we have to do some things to help it grow. Right? Can't just let it sit there because it'll sit there and be dormant. So we have to do like a farmer does, water it. We have to take care of it day in, day out, right? Now, that day, when they sow, when they put through seed out on the ground, or when you plant a seed that day, do you expect the next day to come out there's a big tree that already has fruit in it? No. Uh-huh. What do you think? Hmm. So if I have some seeds and I plant them, it's a seed for an apple tree, and I plant it in the ground one day. And then the next day, when I wake up, can I expect a tree with apples on it to be grown? No. No, why not? It'll be dead. <laughs> because these things take time to grow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, I just want you to understand. Look at verse um, 15 of that chapter. Verse 15 of chapter 13. Um, what was that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Hold on, hold on. 
Verse 15 in the 13th chapter of Matthew. What does it say? Tonight, do you have it or you want me to read it? I have it right here. Okay. For the heart of this people have grown dull. Uh huh. And? In their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes have closed at last. Leap. They should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and laugh. They should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. Okay. Now, um, I want to look in verse... I want to kind of show you what Jesus said the answer to this parable is, okay? All those seeds and being thrown to the side and all that. Here's what Jesus says it represents. Uh, verse, beginning at verse 19. Well, verse 18. He says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. Okay. 19, what does it say? When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away. That? But was sown in his heart this he who received see, by the wayside. So he talked about the wayside. He said that the enemy comes and snatches it away. And he says in there um, that uh, that was sown in, in his heart, in his heart. So he's not talking about dirt. He's talking about people's hearts. And that's why I say that seed, that word of God is planted in the hearts. And then there's other ones in there that talks about, you know, the one that um, was choked out, the one that was um, so he talks about each one of them. But he talks about one heart that's ready to receive the seed. And he said, from that heart you get 30, 60, and 90, and 100 fold. Um, in other words, that's their, that's how much they produce, okay? So when we talk about a, somebody living carnal, um, you talk about somebody who has the word of God, who's received Christ, and yet don't know what they have, right? So you can't produce. So the Cares of the world sometimes gets in the way. Um, other people come and convince them otherwise. All types of other things. That causes them to be, to go back and live worldly or live in the world. And so um, that's what he's talking about. When he talks about walking in the flesh and walking in the spirit or being carnal and being spiritual. Uh, you know, you could see these things. And so, um, let me, I'll read that last paragraph. We're each responsible for our own growth as, Christ, as a Christian. We must grow above the necessity to be bottle fed by others and learn to feed upon the meat of God's word that will build us up and cause us to grow to full stature and maturity. This is God's desire for all his children. So the reason I do Bible study, the reason I ask questions, the reason I do these things 
is because it's not about what I know. I want you to know. I want you to grow. Right? That's why I yeah. ask questions. Right. I'm going to ask you questions. Right? <laughs> so just be prepared to uh, answer those questions. And I'm hoping through those questions that you can remember some of the things that we talked about. Like today, what are some of the things we talked about? And I want everybody to say something. What do we talk about today? The seed. What? The seed. The seed, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What else? John, what did we talk about? John. Come on, John. Come on, John. Yeah. <laughs> Poor John. <laughs> what did we talk Come about, on, man? Give me one thing. Come Give me on. one thing. Come on, John. Yeah, speak up. Speak up, man. Uh, about, about playing. Yeah, we did talk about praying. <laughs> uh, and the Bible. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, That's good. Uh, 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 Faith? But, but, oh, go ahead, go ahead. But, but, but the priesthoods. Oh, preachers. Okay. Yeah. Faith? What did we talk about? Give me one thing. The tree. Yes. <laughs> the fruit of the tree. Right. That's the good, spirit, the work of the flesh. It's Maria, did you? Um, just kind of that last part about the parable, what kind of just sort of came to my mind that you have to nurture your seeds. And with people you know, like seeds, there's no two people alike and there's no two seeds alike, but you really don't know what's inside that seed or inside that person until you nurture and help and, and watch them grow. And so it just kind of, um, I don't know, it just kind of hit me like that. There's, there's something inside every seed and there's something inside every person, but if you don't nurture that, You'll never, you'll never know what's in there. It'll never come out. It'll never grow. It'll never, it'll just, it will, uh, what it was that part where it said it got scorched and died because, you know, and so you have to nurture your seeds. Yeah. So those four soils represent four different hearts, four different conditions yeah. of a heart. Now, it doesn't mean that a person who, um, you might start out one way, but you can graduate to, a, to the next level. You can graduate, right? And that's what he's saying. We got babes right now, but they need to graduate. So, but Jesus talks about four different types of hearts. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Well, you guys were great. You were fantastic. Yeah. You were. And, and, and you walked the tree too. Water it. Water it. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yeah. Living water. Living water. Yeah. So, all right, you guys are have been good. Somebody close us out in prayer. Me. All right. Long, very fun to get tuning. Lots of house. And Zion, and we just have to rain soon, and amen. 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 One other thing, you got to sing happy birthday to two people. Oh, oh. Maria. Yeah, Maria. yeah. All right, one, two, 
Three. Three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tonight. Five o'clock for fail. Uh, fail. 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 Yeah. 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 We I see you. I see you Fose. We I see you Fose. Awesome. I look forward yep. to it. Yeah. See uh, next week, two o'clock. Might be next week. Yes. Two yep. o'clock. Yep. Two o'clock next week. Yeah, George. For some reason, let me see. It's not stopping share. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. Uh -oh. There it is. Sorry. Oh, there, you go. there you guys are. You hit the button. button. I should have done that on the happy birthday thing. I wasn't thinking. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll see you. Yeah. Press, press. Bye. 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 Bye.